Welcome back to the morning show on JTV. Our show today is brought to you by Nevermore D Decor, and they have a Valentine's event, Tale of a Cocktail, Shaken Not Stirred. And uh, they're gonna have a big announcement that evening. It is Valentine's Day, 120 West Michigan Ave on the main floor of the Jackson County Tower Building. The 37th annual Chili Golf Classic. <laughs> Forgot to tell you about that. That is coming up as well, and uh, it should be. Uh, well, we got snow for it, so that's wonderful. Hankard Hills, you can do nine holes or 18 holes, includes chili hot dog and uh, brat. I remember going to my first chili golf classic. I was probably 15 or 16, and I won a, do you remember the beer Red Dog? No. Brandon? Yeah. yeah, I won a Red Dog sign. Oh, wow. And it was cool. So, <laughs> our uh, first guest on the show today is the manager of our fine city, Jonathan Green. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, boys. Good morning. How are you doing? Exciting time to be the city manager. I mean, when is it? No, but <laughs> really exciting. Really exciting times. It's re really exciting. Very, very, very exciting. So the big news is uh, the haze. I, I hadn't heard anything. <laughs> <laughs> You've been obviously working on this uh, a ton. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, the breaking news. Well, yeah, last night we had a presentation um, from our chosen developer mm -hmm. who um, wanted to come and uh, reiterate their commitment to the redevelopment of the Hayes Hotel and the, the J. Jeffers Group. Um, they're out of Milwaukee. Uh, tons of experience in historic rehabilitations. Yeah. Um, it's very exciting. It's a long process for sure. And we initially um, met with them in April and decided that they were the one for us and they, you know, this project was the one for them. Um, it's, you know, so many months have passed. They've worked really hard at developing their own plans. Architecturally, they're almost, uh, you know, getting ready with some schematic designs, working with the uh, state of Michigan to get some incentives lined up. That's been the longest process. Um, but we're talking about a $30 million redevelopment project. Mm -hmm. So these things don't happen overnight and they don't happen in a month. It takes yeah. a lot of time um, to get done. Something like this, you know, this kind of redevelopment nationwide um, not too, like a handful of these type yeah. of deals. And so now it's our time. Um, after, I don't know how many years and years and years of working at this. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, founder and president of J.J. Uh, Jeffers, Josh Jeffers, is going to be on our show this afternoon. So tune in for more details. He's got more plans for Jackson yeah. after the haze. That's, yeah, that's great. It's just the beginning. Yeah. What do they think of uh, our town? Obviously, they've been here a few times. Yeah. It's different every time. What, <laughs> what, are, they, uh, what are they saying about Jackson? Well, you know, if you, if you watched the city council meeting last night, the, the representative, Brian, um, talked about their experience in different communities where they're usually the first one through the door. They're usually doing that big signature development that sparks a redevelopment of an area. And here we've done it backwards. The Long ago, the city set the table um, with its reinvestment in downtown Jackson, you know, Michigan Avenue being rebuilt, streetscape design, um, infrastructure, things like that. Set the table for this. So they're saying, you know, they're saying this is really great. Um, they know based on the investments we've made here that they, you know, will be almost guaranteed success because, you know, we, we were the first ones to take a shovel in the ground and say, we're going to do things differently yeah. here. We're going to make this better. And now we're, we're all benefiting from it. Um, it's really, it was really good to hear that, that they're used to kind of being that catalyst. And now we are the catalyst and they're going to put the cherry on top with the haze. When uh, Jonathan first came to Jackson as Downtown Development Authority Executive Director, the first week on the job, he took this big plywood sign uh, and put it in the window at the Hayes. Uh, development opportunities, uh, building for sale, and really this, and I think since that was uh, one of the first things that the city, the community wanted you to work on, to have it at this point where it's, it's coming to fruition, yeah. that's got to be very personally satisfying for you. Well, I mean, it's taken me forever. So I'm sorry it's taken me this long, <laughs> 13 years to do. And we're not even there yet. 
Um, still a lot of work to do. But yeah, yeah, you're right, Bart. It is satisfying to know that we finally have someone on the line who's as committed to the project and as committed to the community as, as we are. And Jay Jeffers, um, I think because of their experience, because they love big old buildings, they love communities yeah. like Jackson who have these gems. I remember walking uh, through that building with you a few years ago uh, when we had some tours and uh, it's it's amazing the potential obviously and people who have uh, there's a lot of people who have never set foot in that building there's yeah. a lot of people who uh, maybe their parents or grandparents did and they've heard stories or seen pictures it's a grand uh, huge wonderful wonderful yeah. building and for me that's what it's about I mean I learned I heard a new story today about the Hayes Hotel from Karen, I didn't know any of that. But when you talk to people about it, I met my wife in the drum room. I yeah. got married. I, we used to do this. There was, do you remember that? The, the wrestling in that room. And then I worked, oh, you, speaking of tours, take people through. Yeah, yeah I grew up on the fifth floor with, with the person. Like, I used to work, I used to work in that office. Yeah. And you're like, that hotel room? Like, yeah. well, it was an office back then. Yeah. <laughs> the menu at the restaurant there, I remember seeing that and it's amazing. They had everything. You could literally order anything you wanted liver and onions to I think a I think a I think a fillet was, was popular I think a fillet was two dollars and ninety nine cents <laughs> and that was the most expensive thing on the item or on the menu. But they had wow. everything. Yeah. Everything. And yeah. there again. The uh, developer is actually the owner of the building so they're gonna be uh, filling the, the there it's up to them to get the restaurant, to get a banquet yeah. uh, operator uh, retail stores. Yeah, and what's been great too, and they shared this, you know, at our meeting, at the council meeting, is the warmth that they've felt from the community and the support that they've garnered from everyone here saying, how can we help you? How can we assist yeah. you? How can we support what you're doing? I do this. Um, would that be beneficial to you? You know, you look around, we have some great restaurants and some great people who run those restaurants who mm -hmm. are looking at that and saying, I can help you out with this. Yeah. And it's, you know, Jay Jeffers, they're, you know, they're the, they're the newest, you know, residents to the city of Jackson. You know, we're happy to have them. And, you know, it's really great when you move here. I learned this, you know, how many years ago when I got here? Yeah. You know, you show commitment, you show positivity, and you show working hard, and you'll be accepted here in Jackson, and you'll be supported. And we want to do that same thing with the Jay Jeffers Group. Are you surprised at how quickly, anytime there's new housing downtown, it fills up? It's... Uh, I'm not, yeah. uh, <laughs> because when I first started, there were about two dozen living units downtown, and everyone kept saying, if you just build some more, we yeah. will fill it up. And true to everyone's word, it's happened happening. Of course, we've done some studies and yeah. commissions and things like that, that that clearly demonstrate the need for it. And mm -hmm. we could soak up even more than we're getting. And yeah. um, 84 at a time you know, is doing well, but yeah. we have a lot more opportunity out there. That'll be awesome. Uh, more on that with uh, Josh Jeffers this afternoon at 1 o'clock, so check it out. Uh, a couple other things happening at the council meeting last yeah. night. The roundabout, the MLK roundabout uh, sculpture was chosen. Yes, eventually uh, yeah. we chose it. <laughs> <laughs> How many choices were there? They, you know, they, I think the community, uh, the, the, the joint committee between our Public Arts Commission and members from the uh, Martin Luther King uh, Court and Improvement Authority, I think they presented four mm -hmm. different options um, to choose from. The community really liked um, this one by Maxwell MKs, and uh, that will be installed in the roundabout um, over there. We have some opportunities to look at some of the other ones that were, weren't chosen on the night to, uh, to, to display in other parts of the city. That's cool. Yeah. It, it, you know, I, I don't think uh, ra there are ways to address traffic. Roundabouts are one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, just plain old good fashioned four way stop yeah. intersections are another one. Yeah. Um, so if we have a roundabout, um, it makes sense to do something in the middle. Yeah. And uh, art seems to fit that bill, sculpture seems to fit that bill. Um, we have, uh, you know, not, not the most, um, I would say, just kind of free money um, mm -hmm. to be, to spend on those things, but you know, over the years the city has identified revenue from uh, you know cell phone towers and things like that sure. to to spend on this. One time one time uses uh, for that money seemed to work out well, and uh, we sold um, last mm, previous administration uh, sold the locomotive that's up at RA Green Park in front mm -hmm. of the wastewater plant to a, a museum who will restore it. Um, over the years, and it's important. It's important to them to their history, 
um, there's some connection to that uh, that engine. So we'll use that money to fund future art projects. And looking forward to more spirited discussions on uh, what is art, what is <laughs> what people like. Hey, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what I, they don't like. I can tell you, I don't know the answer to uh, either of that. Thanks so much uh, for being with yeah, us and, you're and sharing the exciting news. We're, uh, we're certainly happy, and congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Anytime, guys. Jonathan Green, the city manager of our fine city of Jackson. More of the morning show after this.